Welcome back. We're back on the planet again. It it didn't last long. We were in space for like, what, five minutes? And then we had to come back down. There was an emergency. We blew up the ship. All that kind of tropey stuff that happens in sci-fi. And we've made our way into the hybrid research vessel, Tyrannus, because apparently the Emperor is still here somewhere. Maybe through these double doors. I want to get that first. Let's use the turbo lift here. The Colonel and the rest should still be down on the lowest level. No. Oh, so maybe this is how I get to the bunny. Lower decks. Yeah, Star Trek lower decks. Sweet. Maybe this is how I get to the bunny. Here's me trying to search how to get the bunny in the pre... That's going to be it, isn't it? I just go down here for the bunny. All that searching I was doing at the end of the previous part and the bit I cut out, and it's, it's just freaking here. Sweet. Got the bunny. Good I cut out a good 10 minutes of me trying to search for a way down there. I just had to walk. I can't get through there anyway. I just had to walk. So there's a hole over here, but I'm not sure what it is. Could just be for a chest of some sort. Yep. As I suspected. Should be it, right? Nope. Destroyed. 2k for that guy. Okay, we know we can't go that way. So, right, that was really just the bunny level, wasn't it? So, we've done Star Trek lower decks. And let's go to the lowest decks. Seems to be right. I haven't sorted my SP. Damn it. It looks like they're here. I wonder what they could be up to. Ah, our visitors. Let them enter. Colonel. Gaston. Emperor. Uh, that's Valange and Gaston. Remarkable. To think that a single being could destroy a ship that sails the ocean of stars. <laughs> You're talking like you saw it with your own eyes. It's not like you commanded the attack. You may take it that way if you wish. Scorpium would not attack those unrelated to the network, at the request of those who have yet to be successfully integrated. What is this, Colonel? Why does the Emperor know so much of the Scorpium? A simple reason. Duma? Huh? That's a Duma too? Right. This particular Duma was dispatched to the planet Veer. It came with us when we fled our homeworld. I... I didn't know anything about this. Colonel Gaston, explain yourselves! So, you want to integrate now, huh? Did those two whisper some sweet somethings into your ear? I found the Scorpium ideology espoused by Valange and Gaston to be most compelling. I realize with certitude that this is the future I sought. Therefore, I will have Duma examine the suitability of the races of this world. In good time, I shall have all inhabitants of this planet integrate with Scorpion. Princess Leticia, your wedding ceremony with Gerard was meant to serve as a glorious prelude to this. You mean to say that you attacked Osirius and Nilbeth to subjugate the world? and force the population of the entire planet into integration with Scorpium? Subjugate, force, what a lamentable misunderstanding. Integration is the path to transcendent evolution. It will guide the citizens of the Empire and the Kingdom to happiness. That is not possible. Not a single soul in Nilbeth would wish for such a thing. 
Regardless of whether they wish it or not, such a future is now their fate. Even as we speak, the Scorpion Sovereign is traversing this way to collect me. Sovereign? So cybernetic life forms have leaders like kings and emperors too? There is no leader rank corresponding with the term Sovereign within Scorpion. My special Duma, have you considered that your understanding of Scorpion may not be all there is to know? Impossible. And yet this is another aspect of Scorpion. Am I not correct, Valange, Gaston? No. No! Lola, stay with us! What you speak of will never come to pass. Then your journey ends here. We cannot have you interfering with the Emperor any further. Amuse yourselves with them until the Sovereign arrives. As you wish. My lord! Shut up! I like Doom as... Impossible. It was like, how dare you? How dare you? That's what it sounded like to me. Just very, very annoyed with the circumstance. I'm flying. Look out. What's this? I see a big gorilla. Jeez, mate. You've grown. It would appear the time for games is at an end. We are quite busy, as you can see. Be seeing you. All right, bye. Where are they going? Hey, don't they seem stronger than before? So, this is the might that comes from integrating with Scorpion. This is too much for one man to wield, Baldor. Why do you seek such power? Yes, too much power for one man. Your words strike true. For I, and eventually all who dwell on this world, will transcend the limits of a mortal, and obtain the power of the Divine. Power of the Divine? Baldor, are you...? It is time. They're transferring! Get back here! We shall meet again, my dear children. Damn it! <sighs> that you, Antonio? Ray, you okay? We're gonna be there within the hour. Got it. Contact me again once you arrive. Everyone is currently planet side. Copy that. Uh, I just got confirmation that the unidentified ship you mentioned broke orbit and entered subspace warp. What the hell happened? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Uh, understood. Anyway, just hang tight. Antonio out. Ray, will you not take me with you? You want to go after Bulldor? Not quite. I wish to go forth and protect this kingdom. No, this entire planet. If Baldor means to integrate everyone on this world, then I cannot sit idly by as someone who claims this place as their home. Let's head back to the Royal City for now. Ray! Look, I hear you. It's great that my brother's coming, but if I take you guys along with me now, everyone back at the castle would think I'd kidnapped you. And a certain someone is likely to make a fuss. And just who are you referring to? At any rate, better to sort things out properly before we leave. I understand. Ray, are you okay? 
Yeah, yeah, we're fine, Chloe. But, well, I don't really know where to start. For now, let's meet up outside the Tyrannus. We're gonna be heading to space again. Right. Actually, it's probably best to go here and then walk out the door, thinking that's more correct. Otherwise, we'll be starting at the other side and there would be a long walk, which I don't want to do. Not when I don't need to. You got a visual on us, Ant? Great. Transfer us up in about three minutes from now. This is... I understand how determined you all are. But from our side, we really want to maintain good relations between His Majesty and Dr. Marcus. I understand. I will go and request their approval. Yeah. And when you're ready, all you need to do is press that button. Gather everyone who wants to go out into space, uh, choose some place discreet. Understood. I'll be waiting. Got it. I'm surprised how accepting of this they are. Uh, yeah, feels like I'm finally home. Yo, glad to see you're still in one piece. So, you finally gonna fill me in on what trouble you've got yourself in? And you wouldn't believe me if I did. I assume you four are the crew of that Federation ship. Why aren't uh, Miss Leticia and Mr. Albert here with you? Nah, uh, don't tell me I'm not going to be able to properly thank the people who saved my little bro. This is Marielle, Sayuri, Pike, and Casa. Everyone, this is my brother, Antonio Lawrence. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Marielle Alkenny. First officer of the Pangalactic Federation vessel Astoria. Astoria? Wait, isn't that the ship that shot- uh, 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 Hold it, hold it, Ant. I'll explain all that later. For the time being, I could sure use some grub and a fresh pot of gel. Follow me, everybody. What of you? Uh, this is a pretty hard story to swallow all at once. <laughs> I'm honestly amazed all of you are still alive. All thanks to my friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, coffee, how I've missed you. Ugh. I still can't believe the Federation would sink this low. And now you're saying there are renegade ships just slinking around. This isn't some kind of smokescreen to attack Vergald, is it? No, of course not. But... Poking Marielle won't give up any useful answers. There's just too much we don't know. So let's just wait for my new friends, and then we can all go find out together. All go find out together, he says. <laughs> yeah, and about that... So you want to let aboard Marielle and her feds and even these locals from Aster 4 to go chasing after this Baldor and that Scorpium thing? Are you saying you can't do it, Antonio? This is to pay back our debt of gratitude as a Lawrence. I have no problem with that. However, Ray, I'm giving you command of the ship. This is a bit out of my league here. Should be a cinch for you, right? Since it operates the same as the Edis. Sounds good. And my hands will be full, so you explain things to Dad. <laughs> You're an ass. All right. I guess we're waiting until we hear from Leticia and the others. I'll get some rooms ready for you and your crew. Take it easy while you can. Better rest up after all that. I do wonder how Marielle and the rest are faring. 
But it does feel good to be back on a familiar ship for a change. Maybe I ought to head to the living quarters and catch some much needed sleep. Maybe you should wash out that coffee from your mouth. Ugh. We're lucky that Antonio is so flexible. I wouldn't have been surprised if he tossed us all out of an airlock. Jeez. A shop! Welcome back. Take all the time you need to browse. Lawrence Logistics stocks only the finest goods. Anything interesting here? New weapon would be nice. Mm, I'm gonna hold on to what we got for now. I'm, I'm just gonna hold on. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I just, I just gonna hold on. Like till we got like a proper group again. Residential quarters. This thing's got the same layout as the Edis, so I might as well just take my usual room. It's down the hall on the other side of this one. Sorry. There we go. About time for a rest. Um, yeah, let's, let's restore 7 AP when defeating enemies. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go with that. Mm, this is pretty good. Ray, there is an incoming transmission. Please report to the bridge. Leticia and everyone must Sorry. be ready now. Better head to the bridge and answer their call. He their call, Valley Mall, the Ash one. Leticia, you ready to roll on your end? Ray? Well, we have assembled everyone. All right, I'll initiate the transfer. Get somewhere you won't be seen. Hey, Antonio, I want you to meet my friends. Let's go welcome the princess and the others in the transfer chamber. Welcome to my humble abode, your highness. Ray? This is... your... ship? <laughs> Not so different from the Tyrannus, huh? But it is so different. There are so many lights. Ah, well, this ship is up and running, I guess. Antonio, I give you Princess Leticia. I am Leticia Osterius. Thank you, once again. A pleasure, Princess. I'm Antonio. Raymond, you've been traveling with such a stunning beauty this whole time? Oh, well... <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's make for the bridge. We'll be taking off soon. Take it to the window to see the planet. See that? There's your planet, Leticia. Aster 4. That is... our planet? Our world? To think all of our struggles have taken place in such a minuscule space makes one feel insignificant. Yes, but it is so very beautiful. No doubt about it. Right then, I suppose we'd best get going. Elena, Chloe, Miss Kenny. Roger. It's been so long. I'll, uh, do my best. We're counting on you, Aldous. Chloe, get us out of orbit. Keep thrusters at one-fourth power. Exiting orbital trajectory. Thrusters at one-fourth power. We have exited orbit. Now entering conventional space. All systems, green. Right then. I guess our first priority is to chase that ship carrying Boldor and the others. I hope you're not intending to engage them. The Aldous won't stand a chance. Oh, yes, Ray. Here. This is from Lola. 
It is a record of the battle between the Scorpion battleship and the Akizuki from the Tyrannus. She hopes it will prove useful. Much appreciated. Okay, let's get this analyzed quick. I have no intention of taking them head on. All right. If we compile this data first, we might at least be able to figure out where the hell that battleship is headed. Under normal circumstances, it would likely be their homeworld. It may be safe to assume they are returning there. No such location that would correspond with the concept of a homeworld exists within Scorpium. Is that so? Scorpium is a collective of life that forms a network which spans the galaxy. With enormous spaceships, traveling between artificial colonies and space stations. Well, couldn't those be considered their home planet? No. In this particular instance, all the bases and ships are also part of the overall Scorpium life form. That is correct. Hmm. So, you got any idea which one of these massive life forms they might be headed to then? The man known as Gaston contained many factors that differ from the current state of the Scorpium. Thus, the accuracy of any predictions we make will be low. Hey, hey, okay. Are you really telling me we don't have any leads right out of the gate? I mean, can't we use our long-range sensors to pick up their trail? Yeah, they're already way out of range of our sensors. Ah, <sighs> for crying out loud. Huh? Oh, what's that? Okay, take it easy. It's the sensors picking something up. It might even be them. Chloe? No, it's a Federation ship. They're approximately 36 hours away. A Federation ship. They may be coming to apprehend Sayuri and I. All right, it doesn't look like they're heading for Aster. Hmm. Want to test our luck and try to make contact? Hmm. Unlike the Astoria, they are making no effort to conceal themselves. At this distance, the Aldis should be able to outrun them as well. Not so sure about this. Chances are they picked up our signal already. It'd be more risky to just sit around and do nothing. Ant, patch a signal through open comms. Roger that. Opening a line of communication. Connection established. Putting them on screen. This is Captain Raymond Lawrence, aboard the Vergoldian transport vessel Aldous. State your name and affiliation. This is the Pan-Galactic Federation battlecruiser, Bella Golf, and I am its captain, Curtis Aldrich. I never expected to meet a member of the Lawrence family in the middle of nowhere like this. It's an honor. Permit me to skip the formalities, Captain Curtis. What brings you out to this middle of nowhere? We're on route to our destination and in a hurry. Though, I'm not about to share any more than that with the captain of an anti-Federation Vergoldian ship. Understandable. So I suppose it's just a coincidence that you happen to be heading in the same direction as the Scorpium ship that we happen to be tracking? You... how do you know of the Scorpium? We just recently engaged a Scorpium vessel which had entered the Aster system. We've since determined that the ship was crewed by soldiers from the Federated planet of Veer. Captain Raymond, I think it may be best we exchange information. I should like to make contact with your ship. I must decline. You see, I was on board another ship, the Yidis, when it was taken out by an unlawful attack from a Federation battlecruiser not too long ago. Are you referring to the Astoria? I hear it was illicitly cloaked and attacked without warning. <laughs> oh, well, if you know about that, then I assume the Astoria must already be hung out to dry. Actually, they're currently on the run. What? <gasps> the Federation's most advanced ship has gone rogue? Our ship, on the other hand, is in no such state. Transmit our logs to Vergold if you like. We have nothing to hide. We make for the site of an emergency mission, though at present we could use all the information on the Scorpium that we can get. Fine. Send us a rendezvous point. We'll give you an estimated time of arrival once we figure it out on our end. Much appreciated. Wishing you a safe voyage. Over and out. 
coordinates for the rendezvous point received. Our ETA is 10 hours, 57 minutes. Ray? Uh, no. Captain. I think that we can trust him. I agree. We may gain some valuable information this way. Uh, you should be more worried about getting arrested. We have no reason to trust them, or think that they have our best interests at heart. Arrested? Oh, yes. I suppose you're right. Either way, we still have 11 hours until we know for sure. Alright, everyone. Let's take breaks and shifts. Um, and, uh, what of us? Right. <clears throat> Allow me this opportunity to give you all a tour of the ship. Raymond may be the captain now, but the Aldis is still my ship after all. Uh, understood. You have my thanks, Sir Antonio. Wonder what Antonio has everyone up to. I think we can trust him just because of his voice. It's cagey after all. It's cagey. This is the bridge. No anomalies to report in nearby Looks sectors. like all the folks from Aster are a bit excited. Understood. And confused alert. about We've being on a spaceship for the first here. time. I better set a good example. It would be a bit confusing. No jobs too all right, let's, let's have a look in the transport room. He said he was going to show everyone around, but never really... like this. Somebody could have gotten really hurt. On the world map screen, you can fast travel to multiple locations. The option will not be available at certain times. Oh. Okay. Eventually, I just get to go back to where I came from. Common area. For the commoners, you know, yes. The lower classes. Ray. Hey, did my brother behave on your tour? Antonio is much more of a gentleman than you. Aw, thank you. So, what do you think of the Aldis? How should I put it? It's incredible! Oh, every last bit of it! Nothing short of incredible! Every aspect of life here is like another world. No, no, another dimension. It's all so astounding. I don't know where to begin. Let me say this. Preventing him from wandering off whenever I look elsewhere is proving quite a difficult task. I know full well that this journey will be difficult, but it is quite thrilling to think I will experience what was spoken of in Larkis for myself. Glad to hear it. You're welcome to wander and check everything out at your leisure. Any questions, feel free to ask Antonio or myself. On that note, Chloe? Yes, Captain. If you hear a voice come out of that... Do what it asks, okay? Yes. Understood. We've prepared rooms for each of you in the living quarters. Rest up as much as you can until we rendezvous with the Vela Gulf. How bad, mate? How are you doing? Your family must be one of the great houses of this Sea of Stars. Still, it beggars belief that you of all people could come from such a distinguished lineage. No, no, mate. I have investigated Captain Curtis Aldridge. The record of his career suggests that he is quite the seasoned veteran. You didn't put anything in there, did you? You need to make sure you show Leticia and the others the ropes of how things work out here in space, Ray. That is a tall order when you think about it. That's that's a lot to ask of me, but okay, I'll try. You got a quest? What should we do with this cargo address to Veer? We've lost contact with Veer Prime, so we'll probably have to dispose of it as undeliverable. Lola's from the same planet. Could I give it to her to take? I mean, yeah, go ahead. It's so tough not being able to go home. So please. Don't see an issue with that. All the fancy trappings of her life seem to have thrown Leticia and her friends for a loop. I'm sure they'll get the swing of things soon enough. Yeah, well, um, it's again, it's quite a jump in terms of 
how you view the world, isn't it? I guess Theo was a no-show? Albert and I did ask him to come along. But he refused, citing the lack of laborers and post-war affairs, the need for negotiation with the Empire, and assisting Lola with the Tyrannus. He asked that I worry not of home, and to instead focus on my journey to the stars. Huh, understandable. Tough position. But I'm sure working for the betterment of the kingdom will help him feel better, right? I think so too. We need to find out what Boldor is up to. Not just for Osirius and Vale, but for Theo as well. Agreed. Alright, so where to next? I wonder what Marielle's up to. She was up on the bridge last I saw her. Alright, so let's head to the bridge then. Oh, here's these guys. What is it, boy? An entire Trouble. galaxy full of items new to the eye. <gasps> That is serious. You still my Genuine beating heart. All on board the ship. And top shelf stuff from Earth at that. Midas was poking Antonio. around a moment ago. He didn't break oh, anything, did he? Sure Simply say the word right. and I shall clap some restraints on him. Oh. Well, what you get up into the bedroom in your own time is up to you. Taking the crash course, I see. Uh, there's so much to learn. I'd like to at least get a little more familiar with the all this before we meet up with the Vela Gulf, so that I may be of some use if the situation turns bad. Don't push yourself too hard. You must be plenty tired as it is. I can't allow myself to be tired. I don't want... this to be a repeat of the Edis. I... have a duty to protect the Aldus as a soldier of the Federation. I feel you, but getting proper rest also falls under your responsibilities as an Aldus crew member. So take it easy. Captain's orders. Got it? I'll do my best. Hang your bag. There's still so much Marielle and I both don't seem to know about this entire situation. Might be a good idea to see what Duma can tell me. Leticia and everyone should be in the common area. But why are we heading back? But I've already been there. Okay. Hmm. I would like to know why you came aboard the Edis, Duma. We were dispatched to assess the integration suitability of Vergoldians. What? So the shippers we were dealing with were Scorpium? Affirmative. But... The client sure seemed like a human, from what I could tell, at least. The Scorpium Collective takes many forms. Some may appear entirely cybernetic, others as cyborgs or androids. There are also those who are entirely organic in nature. Ah, great. It is frickin' horrifying to know that we handled unknown cargo from unknown clients. So you're saying that if I succeeded in delivering you, all of Vergold would be Scorpium by now? Horrifying is an unfairly emotional evaluation. Integration with Scorpium is- Yeah, I don't care what you think, all right? Based on what we've seen and heard about it, that's how I feel. Deal with it. We cannot refute this statement. If Scorpium is truly acting in violation of our principles, it would be in defiance of our very existence itself. Are you... confused? Do you even... get confused? We cannot deny this possibility. There is a need for us to learn the truth of these events, in order to carry out our mission successfully. We shall cooperate as much as possible, when necessary. Oh, I'll see to it that you shall. Don't worry about that. After all, you're different from the other Duma, aren't you? I mean, I hope so.